Okay, so Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, had a chat with Bill Gates about the future of artificial intelligence. They discussed a few things, including the much-anticipated GPT-5, which we will be looking into and reveal everything you need to know. But what could that be? You see, Altman shared that they are shifting their focus to multi-modality in their future AI work. Up until now, AI has been pretty good at dealing with speech and text, but there's existing progress on the horizon. GPT-4 has already had a major impact on a lot of industries, and GPT-5 is expected to be even more impressive. Currently, GPT-5 will be able to handle text, speech, and video. This will make it much more versatile and allow it to interact with the world in new and exciting ways. This means that AI will not only grasp what's being said or written, but also interpret and make sense of visual information. The idea behind this is to create AI systems that can comprehend and interact with information in a more immersive way. Think about it as giving AI the ability to see and understand pictures and videos, not just words. According to Altman, he said certain concepts and messages are more effectively conveyed through images and videos rather than plain text. So by broadening the range of things AI can comprehend and expanding its modalities, they're bringing these systems a step closer to having a more general intelligence, making them smarter and more adaptable to various types of information and tasks. I think this will enhance AI to understand the world in a way that's closer to how humans do. Another important aspect they talked about is the enhanced reasoning and reliability ability of GPT-5. This will ensure GPT-5 is better at figuring things out and giving more accurate answers. The idea is to boost its reliability so it not only understands questions better, but also responds with improved accuracy. This will make sure GPT-5 can be more trusted and handle a wider variety of questions and tasks effectively. But even though ChatGPT impresses us with its chat skills, it's still not perfect. You probably might be wondering why. Well, it makes quite a few mistakes, just like others. If you ask the same questions a few times, you might get different responses, and their quality can vary. Altman thinks a crucial improvement is to make AI models more dependable and consistent. The aim is for models like GPT-5 to give the absolute best answer every time, not just occasionally. I believe this will boost the reliability of AI systems so that they can consistently provide high-quality responses. Reliability and reasoning go hand in hand. Right now, big language models are great at producing text, but they struggle with logical thinking through complicated problems step by step. The plan for the future versions is to highly improve their ability to reason logically. This means they'll be able to take on more challenging intellectual tasks beyond just creating text, marking a big leap in their problem-solving capabilities. One key area they also talked about is making AI to become highly customizable and personalized. Right now, most AI is a one-size-fits-all solution, but people have different preferences for what they want from their AI. Altman highlighted the need to make it easy for people to customize their AI experience. The goal is to ensure that AI can be adjusted to match each person's specific likes and needs, making it more tailored and useful for individuals. This will give people the power to make AI work the way they want it to. This also means you can tweak the tone, personality, knowledge base, and abilities, crafting an AI assistant or content generator that aligns with your specific preferences. Taking personalization a step further, AI could use your data, such as emails and calendars, to offer you a more tailored experience. This means it might know details like your favorite sports team, your regular meetings, and preferred restaurants. By utilizing this information, AI can provide suggestions and responses that are more relevant and fitting to your individual preferences and lifestyle. This makes AI not just customizable, but also intimately connected to your personal needs and habits. It's like having AI that knows us personally and adapts to our daily routines. Altman also sees video as a major advancement. There are already huge sets of labeled videos that can be used to teach computer vision models. Once AI can create new video content, we'll witness a high increase in applications across education, entertainment, virtual reality, and more. Imagine learning concepts through interactive video simulations and tutorials. 
This could enhance or even substitute traditional text-based learning methods, opening up exciting possibilities for a more engaging and immersive way of learning. Altman suggests that in the end, integrating various forms of communication like text, speech, video, and more will push AI towards achieving higher general intelligence. This means AI will become more capable of assisting humans in a broader range of tasks and activities, making technology even more versatile and helpful in various aspects of our lives. Altman also dropped a hint about the future of AI, suggesting that it won't be limited to just answering questions. He imagines something more advanced, what he calls AI agents. These won't be mere bots. Instead, they'll be capable of taking actions on your behalf, not only in the digital world, but also in the physical realm. This paints a picture of AI evolving into agents that can independently carry out tasks and make decisions for you, extending their reach beyond just providing answers to being proactive helpers in various aspects of your life. It's like having intelligent digital assistants that can handle things for you, both online and in the real world. Picture an AI assistant that can arrange a ride, observe a table at a restaurant, schedule appointments, and manage everyday tasks, all through simple conversational commands. That would be fantastic. This is happening to some extent today with tools like Anthropics, Claude, and others. The experience is getting even better with the introduction of new agents like Rabbit AI. Altman also talked about big progress in video AI, pointing towards a future where AI might comprehend and generate video content. Additionally, the conversation touched on combining AI with robotics, suggesting a possible merging of digital intelligence with physical capabilities. AI progress isn't just about software. It extends to robotics and physical AI. OpenAI is putting resources into companies working on robotic platforms that can team up with advanced AI models. This means AI is not only getting smarter on screens, but might soon be interacting with the physical world through robots. Imagine robots in your home doing tasks like cleaning, cooking, and handling chores just by listening to your instructions and looking at their surroundings. Picture warehouses where robots efficiently pick and pack items for your online orders, adjusting to different tasks as needed. It's a vision of a future where robots seamlessly work alongside us, making daily life and online shopping more convenient. Speaking of domestic robots, we posted a video about Google's new mobile Aloha robot a few days ago. Take a look at it later to find out how we might live with domestic robots in the future. Okay, back on topic. You see, robots could eventually replace manual labor jobs in construction, farming, cleaning, and factories. However, making them work reliably in unpredictable real-world situations is quite challenging, and there's still progress to be made. At the moment, OpenAI is putting money into robotics, especially in a company called 1X Technology. This company has received $100 million in funding for its humanoid robot, Neo, which integrates artificial intelligence. GPT-5, an advanced robot with general artificial intelligence, has the potential to transform roles such as reception and CEO duties. OpenAI managed to significantly reduce the cost of running GPT-3 compared to GPT-3.5. This is happening because of things like getting more efficient with scale, making algorithms work better, and using innovative hardware. Over time, it'll cost less and less money to train and use top-notch AI models. Eventually, powerful AI could become affordable for anyone, whether it's an individual or a business. Now, GPT-5, a future AI model, is set to be flexible and do things on its own. It could change the world by giving each person their own AI helper and making how we use technology vastly different. GPT-5 is expected in 2024, and it might have features like independent helpers and made-up data, moving us closer to a super-smart AI system. In the last 10 years, AI has changed a lot, and it's impressive how fast it's progressing. The pace of new ideas and improvements in AI is not slowing down. Altman thinks there's a good chance we might reach a point called artificial general intelligence in the next 20 years. AGI means AI could be as smart as, or even smarter than, humans in all kinds of thinking. While AGI is still a bit uncertain, we'll keep seeing AI change the way we live in the years to come. 
I'm curious about how deeply they'll put AGI into the system and how it might be affected if AGI has wrong ideas or misunderstandings. What are your thoughts about AGI and the upcoming GPT-5? Leave a comment below, folks, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you think this information was useful. See you in the next video, folks. Take care.